beginning, man created the wheel. And since then, he's kept his nose to the grindstone, trying to improve it. But the only area that really changed is the surface which it rolls on. At first, the surface was pretty much the way nature left it. There were rocks, holes, curves, and stumps to be wary of. And early man realized some changes needed to be made. Then man started altering the surface which he rolled his wheel on. First, he scraped the grass and rocks away, creating the dusty trail. But dirt has its problems. Then man, in a moment of sheer genius, decided to pave over the surface of nature and created the cobblestone highway. But there were still disadvantages. Today, man has learned to rely on concrete for highway paving. Only a smooth surface can accommodate today's high-speed traffic. But there are still disadvantages. So in his struggle to improve, man has advanced in his method of mixing concrete for high-speed thoroughfares. In the beginning, concrete was mixed by mortar box and hoe, and then carried to the pouring site. But this method tended to be slow. Then man created the dual drum paving mixer. And finally, central mixed plants using tilting mixers. But even these methods lack perfection. Well, no longer. Now the Vince Hagen Company has taken a giant step forward in paving concrete production with the introduction of the Hagen Horizontal Mixer. It's a long proven fact that the horizontal shaft mixer, used for many years in the concrete product and pre-stressed concrete industries, is the best mixing method available. This design provides the highest quality mix in the shortest possible time, even on low or no slump concrete. Contractors who use this mixer experience a significant increase in mix quality, also an increase in brake strengths of both beams and cylinders. However, up to now, the horizontal shaft mixer had one major drawback, the discharge door. Normally, the door has been too small, causing a long discharge time. Or it leaks, causing a loss of water and mortar, resulting in inconsistent slump. The Hagen model HM mixer solves both of these problems by totally eliminating this discharge door. The mixing tub is suspended from the mixing blade shaft and anchored in position by two hydraulic cylinders. The mixer goes through a full mixing cycle while in the horizontal position at the incredible rate of 200 yards an hour in just 30 seconds, although state regulations may require a longer mixing time. To discharge the mixer, the cylinders are retracted, rotating the drum to dump the concrete out a top opening. Total discharge takes about 15 seconds. The basic configuration results in a very low profile machine that lends itself to converting existing Hagenators and other portables to central mix with a minimum of problems. The unit can be arranged as a mobile unit mounted on an integral trailer for use with a mobile plant by a paving contractor. Or it can be used permanently mounted in a ready mix or products plant. If used as a mobile unit, erection is extremely simple. The mixer is driven into position and supported on steel pads furnished with leveling jacks. No concrete is required in most cases. Whatever you need, paving, precast, pre-stressed concrete, or ready mix. When the specifications are tight, the Hagen HM mixer is the final answer. So if you want to increase production and product quality, call your Hagen company representative. concrete production capacity with the HSM low profile batching plant and its special Hagen holding hopper manufactured by the Vince Hagen company a choice of batch size and storage capacity allows you to tailor a Hagen HSM to meet your needs batchers range from 6 to 15 cubic yards aggregate bins from 60 to 400 tons and cement silos range from 250 to 1,500 barrels total storage. 
The HSM operates like most low-profile batching plants. After raw materials have been weighed, they are discharged into waiting mixers. But that is where the comparison ends and the Hagen advantages begin. The Hagen concept centers around the transporter truss, a modular construction concept in which all major plant components are pre-assembled, operated and adjusted at the factory before being sent to the field. This Hagen transporter truss concept is your guarantee that a Hagen system will be operational faster and cost less than other batching plants delivered in many pieces requiring construction in the field. The list of special Hagen features includes dual double clam discharge gates on the aggregate batcher, heavy duty scales, a rotary valve cement discharge gate on the cement batcher, a standpipe surge chamber on the water metering system, electrical wiring in rigid conduit, factory installed to national electric code specifications, hand operated air valves for emergency operation, no cement on the belt, and the list goes on. A closer look at these standard features will show how the Hagen HSM works to your advantage. The aggregate batcher with its heavy duty scale system is mounted within the truss and requires only the removal of travel tie downs before going to work. Dual double clam aggregate discharge gates allow ribboning of the fine and coarse materials on the batch transfer conveyor. This greatly improves pre-blending prior to a batch entering the mixer. The batch transfer conveyor will arrive at your site fully assembled within the main module and ready for operation. We've already tested the electric motor and torque arm reducer, the rubber lagged head pulley, the wing type tail pulley with screw take ups, the 35 degree deep troughing idlers, and the heavy duty nylon polyester cord belting. A heavy duty scale system on the cement batcher also comes fully mounted and ready for operation. The hopper is totally enclosed and furnished with an air vent, pneumatic vibrator, and a positive sealing rotary valve discharge gate. This special rotary valve discharge gate prevents costly leakage of your cement waiting for a mixer to arrive. With the HSM batching plant, your labor cost for plumbing contractors will be minimized because the water metering system is factory assembled and tested. And to eliminate water hammer damage to your plant, a standpipe surge chamber is an exclusive Hagen feature, furnished as standard. The transporter truss concept will also eliminate costs for an electrical contractor. The HSM truss comes with motors, transformers, disconnects and fuses installed and fully wired in conduit to national electric code specifications. The air compressor is also factory mounted on the truss with all hoses, filters, regulators and oilers in place and tested. An operator station features dial scales and hand operated air valves. These special Hagen features allow emergency operation if your primary controls fail, you're not out of business. You can still batch concrete by hand with the air valves. Because transit mixers do not accept material as fast as a batching plant can discharge, a plant's production capacity is often penalized by slow mixer performance. However, the Hagen HSM low profile batching plant solves this problem. Hagen increases batching capacity by stretching out the truss and inserting a holding hopper for discharge into the mixer. This Hagen concept eliminates the need for costly piers. Material batched in the normal manner is transferred at the high speed of 600 feet per minute into the holding hopper. This special hopper has separate compartments and discharge gates for cement, aggregate, and water. 
While material in the holding hopper is transferred by choke feeding into a transit mixer, the next batch is being weighed. This allows each mixer to be charged at its maximum capacity and completely eliminates spillage. After the holding hopper has fully discharged into the mixer, then the waiting batchers will transfer their material at high speed into the holding hopper. And the production cycle continues at double normal capacity. This allows the transit mixers to be batched and on the street in half the normal time. Quality engineered from years of experience, the Hagen HSM is the best choice for a stationary, low-profile concrete batching plant. Its cost-effectiveness is proven, and its performance unparalleled. Put the Hagen HSM to work for you. It will increase your capacity to deliver. aggregate and cement reclaiming unit, manufactured by the Vince Hagen Company, is one of the best investments you can make to increase profits for your ready mix company. The SAC reclaimer unit can increase profits by returning unused materials to your stockpile, save time, fuel, and labor, and comply with federal EPA and state ecology laws protecting land from waste dumping. How much money can a Hagen SAC reclaimer save in a year? Consider these calculations. A transit mixer is usually washed out twice a day. As a conservative estimate, this wastes about one half yard of concrete per day. For a single truck, this doesn't seem significant. However, if you have a 10 truck fleet, that would be about five cubic yards of concrete wasted every day. Now, with 200 working days in a year, the loss for this 10-truck fleet could amount to 1,000 cubic yards of concrete wasted each year. And that's a conservative estimate. What would it cost to buy this 1,650 tons of wasted sand and gravel? This is money being poured out of your transit mixers onto the ground. By using the Hagen SAC reclaimer to wash cement out of unused concrete, you can return tons of sand and gravel to your stockpile. And there's little cost for these free materials. And there's other savings with the Hagen reclaimer. Many times, transit mixers must drive several miles from the plant site to wash out. This is expensive. It costs in fuel, labor, and lost delivery time. It makes economic sense to use the Hagen Sand Aggregate and Cement Reclaimer Unit. Saving the ecology from contamination is another reason for using the Hagen Reclaimer. When waste concrete is dumped on the ground or in some hole, that land could become useless to anyone else. And water used to wash out a mixer might contaminate streams, sanitary sewer systems, or groundwater. But the Hagen Reclaimer solves ecology problems by controlling concrete waste products. Mechanically, the SAC Reclaimer is simple. It consists of a receiving hopper, a coarse material screw, a sand screw, and a water pump. First, about 350 gallons of water are pumped into the transit mixer waiting to be washed out. The very wet slurry mixture is discharged into the receiving hopper. The process is repeated to wash out any remaining slurry. A large screw in the upper trough moves the concrete slurry over a separator screen. The sand passes through this screen into the lower trough and is carried up the lower screw. As the sand moves through the lower screw, it is washed clean and then discharged into a stockpile. The coarse aggregate, which did not pass through the separator screen, moves up the upper screw. It too is washed clean and deposited in a separate stockpile. The remaining mixture of water and cement is discharged into a compartmented basin. 
In this first section, about 95% of the suspended cement will settle out. As additional slurry is added, surface water will flow over the weir into a second compartment. Here, another 95% of the remaining suspended cement will settle out. By the time the water gets to the third compartment, it is almost clear and can be pumped back into another mixer and used again for washing. The settling basin can also be used to collect runoff water from the yard. Solids will settle out with the spent cement. The Hagen Reclaimer is shipped fully assembled and requires only electrical and water hookups. And best of all, the Hagen Reclaimer requires very little maintenance. It has only two moving parts. The screw flights, which are also the only parts immersed in the slurry water. Even the lower bearings are outside the water chamber. The Hagen Reclaimer is simply the best investment you can make to increase your profits. It has low maintenance needs. It protects the land's ecology. And it saves you money by minimizing waste. Get a Hagen Reclaimer to keep your costs down and profit up.